It's good. She's going to press that green button to start, and we're going to leave it on. A large advantage of a volumetric over a ready mix would be you can actually take water out of your mix on the fly. You can also add water on the fly by simply touching the buttons on the control panel to either go up a gallon or down a gallon, or a tenth of a gallon, down a tenth of a gallon. So you'll see a change. I came out a little bit dry, so now we're uh, rocking and rolling. We took a, we added a little bit of water to that mix. And there you go. Another great advantage of these is you have crew standing around waiting for concrete for two, three, four hours at a time. Well, when this shows up, it's ready to pour. You have 30 seconds. You have mud on the ground in 30 seconds. No more hot load. No more short load fee. If you need a quarter of a yard, if you needed a half of a yard, this unit will do that for you. Rob's coming around with some concrete in his shovel. What I mostly want you to see about that is as our truck produces concrete, all our material is segregated and dry. It drops into the bottom, drops into the bottom of our mixer, and in nine feet, ten seconds, it is completely mixed. It is completely evenly distributed. All our rock is coated with washout system on it. So what it's going to do, an auto washout, so what it's going to do is going to dump 10 gallons of water into that mixing auger. It's going to cycle back and forth. From there, well, you're going to run, simply run out your auger and you're eliminating all of your waste. That auger is nine foot long and holds roughly a quarter of a yard. So when your operators get experienced enough, they will simply stop that mixer at a uh, quarter of a yard short. They'll run out their auger without dumping any material in there, and then run that auto washout system. And we've got guys that can wash out in a uh, 10 gallon bucket or two 10 gallon bucket. So this is fresh concrete on site. Since everything is in a different bin in separate containers, you could drive three hours, five hours, seven hours away and put mud on the ground. So no more hot load or any short load fees. There's quite a few Smith Tech employees standing around, so uh, please raise your hand, uh, Smith Tech. Stay around. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, we're here all day, so uh, thank you all for coming. Uh, Dave's going to do a washout uh, if you guys want to see that. Uh, thank you all for coming, and uh, stick around for if you have any questions. First pour, we had some uh, volunteer uh, finishers. Do we have any of those in the house? Anybody? Megan? Megan wants to finish concrete. She's got her new shoes on. She, she doesn't want to get in there. <laughs> 